Hello friends, I'm Paul Shin from the YouTube channel making Model A's cool again. This is Model T, my spouse unit, and this is her 1929 Model A Roadster. This is Rody. And as you can see here, Rody has a little hooptiness going on in the fuel line. So mm -hmm. today we're gonna unhoopty that and put like some real stuff in. I got you know, real stuff. So. Sexy stuff. Let's do it. <laughs> Step one is to drain the fuel tank, and we're going to do that outside just because it's not really safe to have a lot of fumes inside the shop. And Rody doesn't weigh hardly anything, so it's easy to push. Yeah, Rody's nice and light. Yeah. So the gas valve is off at this point. I'm going to undo this bolt right here, or whatever you want to call it. Gas fitting, that's tightening. Tightening. That's loosening. Okay. And? What am I doing? Well, once I say so, you're going to turn on the gas valve, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Woohoo! I'm the assistant today. It's my lovely assistant. I can reach the gas valve with the door closed, that's why. Because I have, you know, gorilla arms. <laughs> and it's my car. I actually feel comfortable working on it now. It's your car. It's my car. Do whatever you want. Let's see. How far away does this thing move? Uh, I'd turn that yeah, around I'm probably. Listen. I'm not used to that filter being there. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to bend this, but. This you are going to bend it, but we're going to replace it. Okay, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel better now. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, here it comes. Okay. Exciting. This may take a while. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we uh, just save them the trouble of having to watch this painfully slow process and We'll just Woo! jump ahead. And there goes the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, we're going to jump ahead so you don't have to endure this, but we'll endure it for you. <laughs> One eternity later. Oh my God, it finally stopped. Good. Now rotate that all the way up so it doesn't leak out. Nope, all the other way. No, no. No? Just go like this. Rotate. Oh, I'm Let's glad see. I held on to it. Yeah. Now, this is go. above that so yeah even that'll... if there was something left it can't come out nice well we know two things now we know number one the gas cap does vent properly that's the good news we nice. know that this actually works because we're going to save the fuel separator slash fuel filter thing probably put a little different filter in there we're definitely replacing this copper tubing fuel line with the correct fuel line Eventually, we're going to be changing that carburetor for the correct zenith, but not just yet. At least it still works. Okay. So now that the gas is all drained out, now we can push it back inside and get out of this wind. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin in here can't take it. It's going to be nice getting out Man, of the it's wind. nice to know that I could push it by myself if I needed to. Yeah, you're pushing it by yourself. Back Dude. inside the shop. Tina's about to take the glass bowl off right that there. Might work. <laughs> let's see if it does. All right, let's see. Hang on, well, we'll if it see. doesn't, you'll be the first one to know. Yeah, if I can undo this. Flip this up out of the way, and then... Uh, yeah. There we go. All right, go clean that out. That's some experienced hands right there. Well, I've done this about, I don't know, a jillion times. times. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get this stupid copper or whatever this is off of here. Get this out of the car. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what Tina's doing right now is she is taking that fitting off that's on the fire. Oh, I'm good tightening it. Are you? I don't know. Maybe let's see. Oh, let me play with it. Oh, there we go. I was yeah, tightening were... it. And I got to be careful so I don't hit the right. choke there. Now let me get in there. Can you get it? Yeah. I take that one off. Okay, I'll get this one. This. Thank you. I believe it goes downwards if I'm correct. Yeah. Nice. Okay, this one's loose. All right. Okay, now that one's going to leak in a minute, so. Okay. Thank you for being my spotter, man. I think I can do it by hand now. Should be able to. Okay. It should just pull right out. Should it pull out by now? Should. I don't think so. Still? A little bit more. Kind of tilting. Let me see if I can get two hands in there without putting my big head in the way. Oh, there we go. Usually it's my big head in the way. There we go. Good catch, homie. All right. 
out with the hooptiness. <laughs> oh, come here. Yeah, there we go. Is it oh. moving? Yep, it moved. Wow. Ooh, that was really tight. <laughs> Feels like they glued it in or something. They may have. I don't know. Nothing surprises me with Rody. <laughs> This is a brand new shutoff valve. The reason I like these reproduction shutoff valves so much, these are rebuildable for one thing. But if you take this apart, all you do is you take the handle off, take this nut off, this whole inside slides out. You can just clean it up, put it right back together, and you're good to go again. You don't even have to take it out of the car. And then the other thing I like, the Paul Shen approved Model A modifications, is these. What we're going to do is just install that like that. That's it. Okay, so I got my fuel shutoff valve with my new pencil filter. And I put just a little bit of gasoline proof sealant on the threads. Just a tiny bit, not much. You don't want to glue it in there. You don't want it to be impossible to get out. Okay, luckily for me, I remembered to grab a 5 8 wrench before I came in here so I can Put a wrench on this and semi-tighten it, <laughs> if I can get on it. Yeah, if you can get yourself on there, huh? Lucky for me. You can do it. I brought this wrench. I just can't see what I'm doing. Oh, maybe it's just a little big that way. You know what? That's why I like these. Adjustable wrench to the rescue. Guess what? Adjustable wrench always fits. Look at that. Always. All those people that make fun of me for using adjustable wrenches, you know what? I don't get why they would. If it works, is it really a bad idea? And it's a... That's probably why. It's a nice <laughs> tool, so why would it matter? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. People love giving me a bad time. That's very odd, especially <laughs> since you're helping people. This is a 1928-1929 inside fuel line. Notice it looks like a question mark. Okay. So what I do is I start by threading the firewall side of it. Actually, before we do that, we should tighten this nut because it's loose. Uh -huh. That's very loose. Yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. Adjustable wrench. Oh, I need a bigger adjustable wrench, please. Uh -huh. Now go hold the, uh, whatchamacallit, assembly there. Okay. Hold it so it doesn't move. I mean... I'm holding it as still as I can get it. Nope. Okay, well, I'm going to take this off then and find out why it won't tighten properly. So, let's take this all the way off. All right, pull it out. Okay. Uh, that's kind of boogered. Well, all right, pause. We're going to clean up the firewall and then we'll be right back. <laughs> so, Tina is holding the fuel filter assembly now and keeping it from turning, and I'm going to Put the nut on here on this side. If I quit cross-threading it. There we go. Okay, she is holding it with an adjustable wrench. Ready? Uh-huh. Here we go. Tightening begin. Is it straight? Let me see. Ah, it doesn't have the jiggle in it anymore. I know it doesn't jiggle. I just need to know if it's straight. I know. Um, that sounded weird. It appears Sorry, to children. be straight. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, now, inside fuel line. So what I like to do is I put this side on first. And just do it hand tight. I get it to where it's just sort of snug. Okay, like that. Now, now you have a general idea of where that goes. So I adjust the valve so you can unscrew it, screw it in or whatever once it's snug so that it's straight with this pipe. Now I have already observed this so I know that it is straight. So I will go ahead and put these two together. That is something I saved you from having to endure on camera. Now I take my wrench and I'll tighten these up. It already looks so much better. I know, right? Yeah. Now that it's done right, I mean, Henry Ford would approve of this. Look like a Piper's nightmare. Mm. 
Okay, now tighten these up. You have to tighten these fairly good because you're depending on that to not leak. So it's actually pushing this pipe against that fitting because it had kind of a nipple shape on it. So free the nipple, so tighten this up and get it to where it's good and snug so that that metal pushes over that nipple and then you don't get a gas leak. And no, you don't use uh, plumber's tape on that. That's not a good idea. So after you tighten it, you let it sit for a few seconds. You can come back and you'll feel you can get another little uh on it. That means that metal is bending around that fitting. It is not going to leak no matter what. Okay, gas valve is still off. Let's go back outside the car and finish that part. Now it's time to reassemble the fuel filter assembly. Now I do a little something different on these. So this is normally what is used as the fuel filter on a Ford Model A. So that fits down in the bowl. There's rubber that goes over the top of it, boom. The problem is these are very porous. So I cheat. I use a Wix 33039 filter that looks like this. This is a modern fuel filter and it fits right there inside the glass bowl on a Ford Model A. So you put the rubber ring on top of that, make sure you can see the holes all around it. Assemble, get it centered. That feels pretty centered. Put this together. Now, I already know there's people bleep blooping in the comments right now. No, 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 that sucks because then you can't see the dirt in the bowl like you can with the other filter. Ah, well, you know what? I don't really need to. The dirt is gonna be inside that filter and at some point that filter will probably plug and then I can just pull it out, put that back together, be back on my way, no big deal. But it takes a lot to plug one of those filters up, but nothing that would plug a jet in a carburetor will make it through that filter. So that will keep you on the road. So now it's time to put the proper fuel line on roadie. So this is an aftermarket Ford Model A fuel line, a real one actually made out of steel or luminized or whatever it is. These are the proper ends that go on that. These are brass and the proper size ones use a 9 16th wrench. The cheapy repros use a half inch wrench. I don't like those. So these are pretty easy to do. So for sound do is put the end on there that you tighten, put the little ferrule on there and just leave just like eh, a little under a quarter of an inch there. So we're going to insert that into the filter and do the filter in first. So push the fuel line in till it stops and then back off just a little bit. And we'll tighten this. And what's gonna happen is that it's gonna push down on that little brass piece. Get a wrench right, yeah. And then it's going to smush it onto the fuel line and make it hold that as well as push it into the fitting. It's gonna kind of expand inside the fuel filter assembly. Same thing happens on the carburetor end. So now it's starting to get kind of firm. And now you can see the fuel line, it's pretty rigid, right? That means that thing's grabbing. So I'll go just a little bit more, stop. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the carburetor side. Okay, everything should be good and tight. Go back and give everything one last oomph. Make sure that it's all good and tight. Good and tight. All right, let's put some gas in this thing and uh, give it the test. I can't believe we're finally to that point. We are to that point. Yeah. Wow. Now this car still has the flame arrester in the filler of the tank. So if you ever do put like a nozzle in there from a gas station or whatever, just be mindful if you have that in there that you can't just shove it in sideways. It's got to go straight down. And now Model T knows that you have to put it straight <laughs> down too. Straight down more. Yes. Well, the gas gauge isn't moving yet. <laughs> the good news is, I don't see any drips. Oh, thank God. So at least the shutoff valve doesn't drip. Awesome. After you get a little bit more gasolina in there, we'll open the valve and fill the fuel filter bowl and see if the carburetor drips. There we go. All righty. All right, the test, here we go. The test. Yep. Gas on. Please. Did the bowl fill up? It's on its way, it's going through the filter. All right, the Ooh. filter's doing its job. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Filling right up. It's magic. All right, it should be going down the fuel line to the carburetor now. I hear the bowl. Yeah. I just I heard hear the float. It. Wow. Okay. Carburetor's full. Look at that. No leaks. Oh. Sweet. Awesome. All right. Done.
Oh, I just saw a drip. Uh-oh. I just saw a drip. Where'd it come from? Nope, that's dry. That's dry. It must have come from the carburetor itself. Yep, came from the carburetor. Huh. I don't work. That's a tillets and I don't care. They, they leave. <laughs> just the way it is. Okay, good deal. You know what the last test is? <sighs> Starting it? Yeah, see if it runs. I guess I have to turn it on? Yeah, key on. Hello, Tina. Hello. Key <laughs> on. Just a tiny bit. No, uh, not not gas. You're stepping on the gas. Where am I? Oh, pfft, gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. New kid. Hello, Tina. That's okay. Wakey, wakey. There it goes. Woohoo! All right, it runs. We didn't make it worse. <laughs> I have it down about uh, about halfway probably. Yeah, it's about maybe just a tiny bit more. Okay, there's about halfway right there. Okay. That sound a yeah. little better. Sounds great. I'm yeah. gonna call it a success. Yay. <laughs> your first repair on your car. Yay! There you go. And it was actually successful. <laughs> what are the odds? Go ahead and shut it off. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're done. All right. Good enough. Okay, this yes. is a success. So, the next time you see Rody will probably be on the Model T YouTube channel, which I will link to below. Nice. And I don't know whatever fix you're going to do next, but um, <laughs> no, no. There are so many choices. It'll be, it'll be exciting for me, too. I'll get to find out. So, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on the next video. Job well done. Yay, thank you.